This morning, top health officials warning the impact of holiday travel will likely haunt the nation well into the new year. There is no question we are going to see another surge just like we did after Thanksgiving. We're going to see another surge in January. The U.S. adding more than a million cases in less than a week. Total COVID infections now accelerating past 19 million. And the CDC predicting the country could surpass 400,000 deaths by mid-January. From coast to coast, hospitals are in crisis. In California, the epicenter of the pandemic, infections are spiraling out of control. We prepare ourselves uh, for what is inevitable of a surge on top of a surge, arguably on top of again another surge. The Department of Health in L.A. County announcing a tough new travel restriction, ordering anyone who travels outside of the county to quarantine at home for 10 days when they return. Overwhelmed medical centers like Huntington Hospital are inching closer to prioritizing care for people more likely to survive. This is the, the worst crisis I've ever seen at our hospital. In Tennessee, now second to California with the highest number of new daily cases per capita, many critical care nurses are seeing patients die on every shift. We are working so hard and working to support our team, and we need our community to support us. Meanwhile, growing concern over a slow vaccine rollout. The CDC estimates over 2 million have been vaccinated. That number likely undercounted due to the reporting lags, but still far short of the 20 million originally promised by the end of the month. It's probably realistic to think that the pace is going to be a little bit slower, especially as we try to move through hard to vaccinate populations next month. Some positive news, nursing home residents and staff joining frontline workers and first responders in getting a shot of protection in a battle that's far from over. More help could be on the way. On Monday, Novavax announced the start of phase three trials of its vaccine candidate, the fifth company to launch a large scale trial here in the United States.